is up everybody back with another episode on bagged on 20s this is a 1987 nissan hard body it's a v6 extra cab we were bagging for a customer slash friend this week uh, or this episode i should say we get the bed all cut out we start getting a basic frame into it last week's episode we started getting the gas tank in uh, after i thought about it a little bit i decided that we really should have a like a bumper or a bracket behind the gas tank so in case the truck were to get rear-ended it just doesn't plow right into the gas tank and there's a little bit of structure there to hopefully prevent a total of the truck we also made up some bed risers that i was first planning on bolting them to the original bed mount and then bolting them to the new bed floor but just kind of how that's working out i think i'm going to end up welding the bottom and then just having the top bolted it'll probably be stronger and uh, work out a lot better that way all right, we're just gonna stop talking and get further into this episode. We're going to be bending these tabs down right here. So I clamped this part and this. The ends are going to be really easy to do out here, up here. Um, but this one's going to be easy. It's going to be a little difficult to figure this one out.
Look at this. Now watch this. This is the just the beautiful part right here. Ready for this? I smell weed. Woo! So we had this on the truck, um, put a level on the frame, and we leveled out the Indo air tank mount. So now that that's made, we can take this off the truck because just act together. Um, there's no reason to mount these while it's on the truck because it's just going to be a pain in the butt. But since we got this dialed in and leveled where it needs to be, we just zero out our um, gauge, our angle finder here. We can get the compressor mounts uh, nice and level. Also, instead of trying to get the compressor, and since these are, you know, each set of feet go on two different ones, uh, to figure it out might be a little challenging. So I cut up a quick jig on the plasma table uh, just to mimic the mounting feet on the compressor. So we just got some quarter inch bolts in there. The digital level here, we would zero it out on this platform. on the money right there, folks. So after I got the gas tank mounted in the rear, I realized um, this truck has a roll pan, there's no bumper to it, uh, and if it were to get rear-ended, it's going to go right through the bed, right into the gas tank. So I did like that idea. And I put the gas tank all the way at the back, but I was pretty sure that there was going to be room after I cut the bed out to uh, put a kind of like a, almost like a bumper per se, behind the roll pan. Uh, once I got the bed all cut out, I mocked it up and there's about a good four or five inches behind the tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock out two birds with one stone. Uh, if you do recall me talking about how this was flexing a while back and it really didn't matter. Well, we're actually gonna fix that today because how we're gonna do the, um, like the, the the safety bar, I don't know, bumper, whatever you wanna call it. I got some plates cut that are gonna cap the back of the frame rails like that. So that'll prevent this from flexing all that down here. And then these plates are just gonna be where I can mount a DOM2, which I already got my DOM2 cut to length and welded the ends closed. Uh, this is inch and a quarter quarter wall DOM. It's just really heavy, should be really strong. Um, but we're going to probably go about mid tank, I think would be the best bet. So we're going to get the plates tacked on. Just want the gas tanks on there. We're just tacking them out well yet. Get these tacked on get up some bars to mount to the tube so we figure out where our height is we'll get that all tacked together once we got it all tacked we'll pull the tank out and fully weld everything up there. this way is doing pretty good um, it's centered up really nicely, actually. Turn it on. We're going to zero it out. Okay. Zero it out now. Actually, it's a pretty thick deal of two, so we can just set it on the bar itself. That tack will hold it enough, but just give it enough movement so I can get this nice and centered.
starting to get the skeleton of the raised bed floor all done. I got the entire floor cut out, obviously. Um, anyways, I just clamped on this piece of wood because I was thinking about how I was going to frame this up. And the easiest way that's going to be doing it is just cutting off this metal piece here because it's kind of got a bunch of weird folds and stuff. And we can just replace it with a square tube so it's nice and square and straight to work off of easy enough. So I got this clamp here so the bed doesn't just like spring open or anything, hopefully. And we'll cut this down here, cut it down here, get some bars and stuff measured and weld it up, and keep going. <laughs> got the piece designed up real quick. Um, kind of just got it set in there on the jack. Now how we're going to tackle this is we're just going to make sure it's even and flush with the top first, nice and straight across. And then once we got that tacked in there and dialed in, we're just going to leave it tacked so that way we can adjust to make sure it's nice and straight with the bed here. Towers. Um, I clamped a piece of flat stock to put in the bar because I want this level at the bottom of the tubing. Clamp here, we'll know it's nice and perfect. Just put our plate in there, throw some tacks, and then throw a couple heavy beads just to hold it on for now until we can bolt the full plate.
That's going to wrap up today's episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave, uh, leave some down below. But next week, we will be getting the rest of the bed framing together and maybe even start on the sheet metal. And then also, we need to get the back frame painted so we can start finish installing our compressors, air tanks, wiring, uh, the fuel lines, all that other fun stuff. And then once we kind of get the back wrapped up, then we can turn the truck around and start tearing down the front to get the front bagged. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Keep on trucking. Peace.